Welcome to Beaver Park Golf Club. I'm Aaron Small. I'm the course manager. I've been here for nearly four years now. And it's a thriving golf club. We have over 1,200 members for an 18 hole course, which is a lot. So there's a lot of demand on the greenkeepers to keep the course in the condition that the members deserve and expect, really. Uh, we had average around 45,000 rounds a year, which is a lot. Um, of traffic so we have to be very conscious of everything we do programs wise to make sure the course is in the condition that um, we expect. Tomorrow is our Scratch Cup uh, Scratch Cup is one of the big events where people come from other golf courses so it's a good opportunity for us to showcase the golf course not only for members but visitors. Uh, the average handicap would be anything from scratch to or plus figures to probably three to four handicaps so good field of golfers and as good opportunity as green keepers to showcase what we do day in day out. Uh, we really like feedback from any golfer but if we can please the Category 1 golfers, uh, that would be good for us as that's like tournaments, the biggest tournaments that we would have. Uh, we can run maybe three to four competitions like this a year where your Scratch Cups, maybe your GUI events, just competitions that let us pick the golf course for certain things because the golf course can't always be a 10 out of 10. The weather would dictate that to you. Competitions would dictate that, but for tournaments you definitely do prep. You do more overtime, the club has budget to do the overtime, so there's no real excuses from us uh, as greenkeepers. The only thing that will beat us is the weather. Today we have the club championship and the scratch cup um, and people talk about tournament prep so golfers would really think the tournament prep is that morning. Tournament prep starts weeks in advance uh, preparing your greens of what nutrients etc you're giving them, feeding teas, feeding aprons so it's all, it's all a process that's done for the tournament and it still gives you the members their everyday use on the golf course. All tournament prep would do really is cutting more, you know, aggressively so the stripes stand out, things like that. You know, golfers think that it's just somebody does it at night time and they don't know who does the work, but the greenkeepers do it and they're very passionate about it. We're working all conditions. The thing about our job is that we're only really as good as the weather. Uh, you know, we have no control over our biggest element, which is the weather. So if we could turn the heat on and the rain on, and everything else, the wind, whenever we wanted it, we would, yes, give you a better golf course, but that's determined by the weather. And really, the golfers, how many golfers are out, and staffing issues would determine how good the golf course is. But generally, the greenkeepers around the country try their hardest, and they're very passionate about what to do. So the greens are cut today for the tournament at three millimeters in height. This would be a standard height for us in the summer. Uh, we're on a program of every two weeks. We will give the greens a liquid feed consistent of uh, primo and seaweed and just nitrogen, phosphate and potassium just for the health of the plant. Uh, we have two granular feeds a year at the start of the season and the end just to get a bit of body into them. 
So that means that we have stuff to work with and then the liquid feed will trickle feed the plant. So it's really getting everything that it needs on a consistent basis and that allows us to cut the greens that tight and really give the surfaces that the members of Beaver expect here and need from day to day. This is how we measure green speed. We measure it with a stimp meter. So basically we go to a flat area of the green and we do it both ways to counteract any undulations on the green. So if the ball averages 12 foot one way and eight foot the other way, then you add it together, which is 20, divided by two. So 10, your greens are running at 10 on the stamp. You hear a lot of people talking about stamp meters. All stamp meters are generic throughout the world. You can take this information from any course and that's how they do it. So the greens here at the minute are 10 and that's without a roll, so that's quite quick. So we'll see what they are after a roll. So we're going to stamp the green here now after speed rolling it to see how much speed that the speed roller has put on it. So we came, come to the same spot, do our three balls again. Get our average. So we're 11 foot 3 inches, we'll go back the other way now. So we're bang on 10 foot, so that's 21 foot 3 inches, so about 10 and a half just 10.6 10, 10 so the speed rollers put another half a foot onto those without just having to lower the height of cut which is the main thing so the plant's not under stress but you don't do that too much because that creates compaction so it's a good tool for the greenkeepers but not to be overused <laughs> 